This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another Zarkin production. Hello and welcome to the ZOC. I'm your host, Andrew Carvin, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Spiralizer 5 Blade Melty Vegetable Slicer with Catch and Store Container and Stainless Steel Blades, Heavy Duty Base free iOS and Android app with recipes and videos. We thought of everything. Your Spira Slicer comes with a large low profile container, recipe booklet, user guide, online recipe app with videos, blade caddy, and cleaning brush, all to make slicing storage and cleanup a breeze. Five stainless steel precision blades. The Spira Slicer blades are made of Japanese 420 grade hardened stainless steel, which always keeps blades very sharp. The blades are marked with the size and what specific cut they are for, such as angel hair spaghetti, fettuccine, curly fries, and ribbons so you can start spiralizing right out of the box. Best in class material and suction cup. Made from 100% BPA-free, food-grade, and durable reinforced ABS plastic, high-impact plastic box construction, and oversized super-strong suction cup, which will stay firmly locked to the countertop for hours. Recipes on Melthy Mobile App The Melthy site and the Melthy Mobile App features hundreds of videos and written recipes designed to make the most out of every Melthy appliance. Love it, guarantee. When you order today, you are covered by our full Love It guarantee. If for any reason you're not happy with your spiralizer, you can return it for a full refund. Alright, so here's a picture of the device with the five different blades it comes with. As you can already see, it has the blade storage on the side, which is very convenient. The, the low profile container that the spiralized cuttings go into and here you can see you're making various noodles and cuts and fries and all kinds of cool stuff and this will make it very easy to do all that here's all the stuff it comes with so that looks really awesome Here's some bullet points. Has an on-off lever for the suction pad. Has a blade insert release button so the blades do lock in place and then you release them with this button. Uh, the countertop suction pad. So that'll keep the spiralizer in place. And an extra blade container so you have some place to keep the things. But that's enough about the Amazon posting. Let's take a look at the real thing. Right here we have the packaging for the Melta Spiral Slicer 5 Blade Spiralizer. Uh, comfort grips for easy turning and sliding. Convenient blade storage. Sturdy non slip suction base. Join the Melthy Movement. Download our app today or visit our website at melthy.com slash spiroslicer for recipes and videos. So we'll have to look at the app later on. And here it has a 2mm angel hair, 5mm fettuccine in this convenient blade storage. Melthy Smart Products, Great Recipes, Better Living. Got questions? Download the Melthy app. Visit our website again, melthy.com slash 
Uh, you can call them at the phone number on the side. Uh, you can email them, support at Melty.com. And join the Melty movement. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, whatever that is, and Pinterest, I guess. All right, so here we have the Spiro Slicer, the Five Blade Spiralizer. Uh, what's inside? Well, you get a recipe book, a cleaning brush, catch and store container, the various blades. Uh, you get the angel hair. You get spaghetti. You get fettuccine. You get curly fries. And you get the flat blade for ribbons. Team Melfi is all about making your meals inspiring, fun experiences. With that in mind, we've designed our Spira Slicer to meet your needs. Our five blades are clearly labeled to eliminate guesswork and confusing measurements. Our exclusive catch and store container sits flush against your Spira Slicer to catch spiralized vegetables and fruits, eliminating mess and waste. The included lid makes storing your spiralized goodies quick and convenient. The non-slip suction base will hold your Spira Slicer in place for fast and smooth slicing. Finally, we've included a cleaning brush to simplify your cleanup. There's nothing really on the top. Nothing on the bottom either. So let's get this open. Here's the cleaning brush. Let's get the slicer out. Okay, so we got a we got a lot of stuff here. Um, again, the cleaning brush. So you got that. So you can clean it off. Here's the lid to the catch container. Here's the catch container itself of fairly substantial size. I mean, is it big enough for the... I think it's big enough to stick the thing in. Yeah, it is. All right, well, that simplifies storage, most definitely. So you have that. Not just some cheap Tupperware thing. It actually is designed so that that can actually fit into it. So, again, occupies not as much counter space. Uh, there are the blades that are, of course, stored inside the spiralizer, uh, but you do have some extra blade storage. If I can get them out of the plastic. All right, here we go. Alright, so we got the angel hair and curly fries. Take these out. Uh, this is obviously a blade, so be careful. But take off the film. So this is what you would use to create curly fries. I will definitely be using this later on. For the demonstration. Here's the angel hair. Take the plastic protector off the blade for that. Yes, 
Caution. Cut hazard. Sharp blades. Handle with care. Yes, indeed. All right, so we have those two. Angel hair and curly fries. Uh, we have the user guide for the Spira Slicer. Talks all about it. How to operate it, how to clean it, but it's a fairly straightforward device, so I don't imagine it'll take that much to figure things out. And notes on the back in case you want to write some notes about your Spira Slicer. Here is a recipe book. So this is pretty cool. I mostly got the Spira Slicer for the curly fries because I like curly fries and can't always get them in the house so it's kind of like hey this would be a great way to have them whenever I want. So here's some, but here's some really cool and already looking delicious recipes you can make. Uh, spiralized gluten-free sweet potato mac and cheese. I would definitely eat that. Spiralized zucchini salad with avocado and edam. That sounds pretty good too. Spiralized zucchini carbonara. Sounds pretty good. I, I, actually, I really like pasta salads, so something like this is really nice. Uh, it may make a whole lot easier to make pasta salads with a spiralizer like this. Zucchini noodles with soy ginger chicken. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, cucumber salad with yogurt vinaigrette. Eh, not too sure about that one, but I'll try anything just once at least. Uh, zucchini noodles with avocado pesto and shrimp. That sounds delicious. Uh, spiralized zucchini ribbons with mint, basil, and almonds. Eh, might be worth it. Uh, spiralized summer squash noodles with chicken sausage. Yes, we definitely know I would like that. Garlic shrimp zoodle. Of course I would love that. It's got garlic and shrimp in it. Cheesy zoodles in sweet pepper cream sauce. Ooh. Spiralized beet and blue cheese salad. I can't remember the last time I ate a beet, but sounds interesting. So you get uh, quite a few recipes in the Spiral Slicer book in case uh, you're looking for ideas to use the Spiral Slicer, but as I mentioned, I already had some intentions with the curly fries, which I'll be making later. And obviously you get the Spyro Slicer itself. So let's get this unwrapped. Alright. Again, there's some tape to take off. There's some tape that holds the thing in place, so it moves back and forth. Uh, we have the flat blade for ribbons in here, so we need to take that out. And uh, we take that out by pushing the release. So we push that in, which allows us to take that out. And then we take this carefully off the blade because as it says on all of these cut hazard sharp blades so be careful it's very sharp so turning it over here we have the spaghetti and fettuccine let's get those out Actually, they're locked in place on this side. So I need to pop them out this way first. There we go. 
Alright, so we got the spaghetti. Also some tape on this. It is a spiralizer, so there's lots of blades. Sticky's all over the place now. Alright, so what we got? We got the fettuccine, we got the spaghetti, we got the flat blade for ribbons, uh, we have the angel hair and the curly fries. Um, two of these, of course, store in the base itself, so we'll put those back in. And they click into place on the back right there. They don't fall out. They hold in place over here. Then, of course, uh, you can store one in the the device itself. And that clicks into place. And then you have the angel hair and curly fries you can probably put that right there hey it fits actually cool and if you flip this upside down and then take the spiral slicer you can stuff that in there too put that in there and um, we have a bookshelf where all our cookbooks go, so these will probably end up on our cookbook shelf because that's where our cookbooks are. But there's plenty of space still on the sides of this thing that you could probably just stick this right in there too. Uh, so when you're done using it for whatever you're using it for, it packs up quite nicely. And all your stuff will be there for the spiral slicer. Now, how a spider slicer works, um, first let's get everything back out again. I'm doing the pack up demonstration because later it's going to be dirty because I'm going to make some curly fries. Make a little bit more room. There we go. Okay. All right, so again, a simple device to operate. What you do is you first take this down so it's available, and it's a two-handed device. Um, you secure the device uh, to the countertop with this suction cup, uh, which you turn on and off by flicking the switch. Now it's not sucked onto anything at the moment, but we could probably use this box. Hang on. Don't know how much of a suction we'll get on a box, but we can try it. Yeah, we're not getting any suction on a box. <laughs> the box does not suck enough. That's alright. We have a countertop in there that do a better demo on. But anyway, you you get it fastened to the countertop with this uh, suction cup under here, which you activate by first you know squishing this onto the countertop, and then turning it on, which causes the suction cup to lift back up into its recess, creating the suction. And as I mentioned, this is a two-handed device, so you'll have one hand on this, another hand on this, which does the rotation and you stick the <laughs> you stick the I think they're coring an apple on that picture. It looks like an apple. It could be wrong. I don't know. Fruits, vegetables, whatever. So you stick the potato, which is I'm going which is what I'm going to be doing later on, on this and this 
and then you push it forward into the blade while you're rotating it. And it comes out the other side uh, into this collection bin. And then once you have all the noodles or potato curly fries you want, uh, for regular vegetable salad, you could just eat it straight away. Or for what I'm going to be doing with the, the potatoes, turning them to curly fries, uh, they'll be ready for deep frying uh, once I've collected enough in this bin. So, very well designed, very easy to pack away. Um, already pretty awesome, but wait, let's make some curly fries. All right, so we have the spiralizer set up and ready to go. And we have some potatoes ready to be spiralized. So let's get to spiralizing. First we affix this to that. And then we put that one on this end. They're ready to rotate out some curly fries. And not a whole lot of pressure. Just rotate, rotate, rotate. Kind of an odd angle. Normally you'd be facing it this way, but I'm trying to film it at the same time. Carefully remove what's left of the potato. You end up with this weird looking thing. You can put this in the deep fryer too, I suppose, and have like a weird 2B fry. But we have a lot of nice curly fries right there. They're not really curly, they're just cut. They're curved. Well, we're going to try try it with the skin on next, see what that looks like. We're going to stick another tater on. They're not really thick. They're going to taste good, I know that. Take out the one long weird fry again. There we go. Why are there blades all the way down if you don't use the blades all the way down? Lots and lots of curly goodness. Now, uh, this was with the skin taken off. I want to see what happens if we do one with the skin is still on. So now we're going to do a potato that has the skin still on. There we go. So lots and lots of curly fries. 
delicious Kool-Aid fries. Of course, we're not done yet. We need to fry them now. But as you can see, it's very easy to use the spiralizer to make a ton of curly fries or spaghetti or fettuccine or angel hair or flat blade ribbons, whatever you want to make uh, for your dish. So I'm going to fry these up and cut back when we have them done. All right, so we have the curly fries all fried up and delicious. Mm. I actually have a lot more of these coming. Because the potato makes a lot. So yes, I totally recommend this product. Uh, buy one today. Uh, you can make all kinds of stuff with it, including curry fries. So, excellent purchase. Awesome product.